My next guest is calling on divorcing couples to settle Christmas holiday custody disputes urgently because there's a deadline coming up. Applications for parenting orders have to be submitted by the 9th of November to allow the family law courts enough time to manage the spike in disputes. Of course, uh, child custody issues are very common this time of the year. We often regard Christmas as a time when you put the families together and relatives and you, you all kind of like each other, but unfortunately sometimes it doesn't quite work out that way. Let's talk to uh, the partner with accredited specialist in family law from Tyndall, Gaskin, Bentley, Jane Miller. Jane, uh, this, this timeline that's 9 November, what's that actually for? So the family law rules set this deadline for us and what the rules say is that if parties need the court to make a decision for them about what's happening this Christmas with their children or these Christmas holidays, then the court need those applications to be filed by the second Friday in November, which will be the 9th of November yeah. this year. And that should give the court plenty of time to hear that urgent application, have it determined before Christmas Day. Now, there's been a spike in issues. Uh, is that to be expected as normal? I think we've seen in the last, certainly in the last 10 years through the court, that, that people may not actually have thought about their Christmas Day and Christmas holiday arrangements until December, perhaps. And so what happens is that people rush into the court uh, in December trying to have the court determine those matters for them and the court just doesn't have the capacity uh, to get through all of the application. Might seem like a dumb question, but why can't people work these things out for themselves? Why, why do we need the court to say how it'll happen? I think most people do work them out for themselves, Leon, and I think that uh, most family lawyers working in the field and most mediators working in the field ask people to turn their mind to this issue much earlier in the year and that there's no point in leaving it to November or December to start negotiating. But unfortunately, there are, there are some people that are affected because their situation is so acrimonious that they can't negotiate and come mm. to a settlement. And there are also people that may have only just separated last week uh, that haven't even yet given any thought to, to what will happen over that Christmas holiday period. So uh, who, who, who goes to the court? It's really important for me to and the people of South Australia to understand this. Who actually should be making that application by the 9th of November? And who in a situation like this doesn't necessarily have to? Mm. So these are, it affects people that have not yet had successful negotiations with the other parent to decide what times the child will be um, with each of them for Christmas Day uh, and haven't yet decided about what arrangements will be in place for the child to live between the two homes over the Christmas holiday period. Mm. And hopefully most people have already had that discussion and commenced negotiations, but unfortunately not everyone is particularly reasonable or people have different views about what's in the best interest of their children and those people are the ones that will need the assistance from the court in making the determination. Let's say you've got a couple that uh, want to try and negotiate. They're probably not in the most uh, of cordial situations with each other but they recognize that the issue is the children if they need mediation how do they best get it uh, mediation can be accessed even even through a private mediator yep. uh, there are also uh, centers called family relationship centers uh, mm. around where people can actually have free mediation mm. uh, unfortunately the wait list can be sometimes substantial uh, for those organisations mm. uh, and there are also qualified family dispute resolution practitioners around. Um, some are, have a counselling background, some have a background in psychology, some have a background as a lawyer and they're able to help people to mediate. But not everyone's matter suitable for mediation unfortunately. In many mm. cases the relationships that have broken down that we see there's been instances of family violence uh, or there has been a real power imbalance in that relationship and therefore when they go to mediate, uh, it, it's just impossible to re reach a fair agreement. And that's why you need to make a, a submission to the courts to get a determination. Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah. Look, uh, Jane, would you mind giving your phone number? Yes, Leon, our number is 82121077. We also have a great website that's got a lot of information on it, which is mm. tgb.com.au. Thank you. That's uh, Jane Miller, family law expert from Tyndall, Gaskin, Bentley.